Hello friends. Today I will teach you coded inequalities. In IBPS paper 2013, there were five questions from this topic. So today I will teach you the basics of this topic. Coded inequalities is there would be a function a and a function b, and it would be represented. A relation between them would be represented by a code. So code here is a star. Now suppose this star means equal to, then a is equal to b. Star means greater than, a is greater than b. If star means less than, then a is less than b. So these are coded inequalities. So this code could be anything, and the equality could be equal to, greater than, less than, greater than equal to, and less than equal to. The questions we will get in exam would be between a and b. So I would mean to say that it is not about two variables. उसमें दो वेरिएबल नहीं होंगे, बल्कि चार पांच वेरिएबल होंगे। तो उनमें हमें रिलेशन निकालना है उन चार पांच वेरिएबल को। तो अब कोई भी दो वेरिएबल रिलेट करने के लिए उनके बीच में लिंक होना चाहिए। For example, if a is greater than b and b is greater than c, this implies a is greater than c. तो इनके बीच का लिंक क्या है? b को हम लिख सकते हैं a is greater than b, b is greater than c, this implies a is greater than c. दूसरा इस तरह से चार relationship हो सकते हैं। पहला ये हो गया, दूसरा a is greater than equal to b, b is greater than c. तीसरा a is less than equal to a is greater than b, b is greater than equal to c. चौथा a is greater than equal to b, b is greater than equal to c. इस केस में a is greater than equal to b and c. Suppose a is one and b assume the equal to condition. So say b is also 1 then in this case 1 and c should be greater than this 1 so we can assume it as 2, 3, anything so a would be I am sorry in this case say a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 2 is greater than equal to 2 now b would also be 2 but this 2 should be greater than c, so c would be 1. So hence, this a is greater than the c. So the result we would get out the conclusion, we would get here it would also be the same. a is greater than c. Similarly, in this case, a is greater than c. Let us see. If a is greater than b, say a is 2, b is 1 then b is great, greater than equal to c. So this could be either 0 or 1. So a would, this 2 would always be greater than this 1. Next is a is greater than equal to b and b is greater than equal to c. Then a is greater than equal to c. Say a is 1. Then b can be equal to this. So it could also be 1. If this is 1, and this could also be 1. Then this could be equal to this or second case could be 1 is greater than equal to say 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is greater than equal to say 0. So this one is always greater than this 0. So a is either greater than c or a is equal to c. Now uh, there are two, three important things which we need to know. First, how if a uh, relation between three variables or four variables is given, how we could conclude between two variables. So how A and C are connected if B is the connector. And we need to have a connector to get the relationship. If this, instead of a B, here is D, then we cannot get any relationship. 
So this is the concept and the theory behind this. Let us see how the questions have appeared in the IBPS exam and from there we could take on. So first of all IBPS 2013 question which says A star B A ampersand B means A is means A is not smaller than B this means A is either greater than or equal to B second A hash B it says A is neither small nor equal to B A is neither small nor equal to B so A would be greater than B third is A dollar B it means A is equal to B it means A is neither greater nor smaller than B which means A is equal to B A percentage B this implies A is not greater than B so A could be less than or equal to B last one is A star B this means A is neither greater than nor equal to B so A is less than B so this is what is given in the question now there are statement and conclusion so this is what is given now we would pick statements and then conclusion so statement 1 says statement 1 b dollar y y represent z z percentage x x hash t so we can write it as dollar is equal to b equal to y y greater than z z percentage is less than x less than equal to x x and hash is greater than t or we can write b equals to y now there are three conclusion given a t e, z b x y c z star y so which one of them would be true so first of all we have to see this so t is greater than z x is greater than y and z is less than y let me check once again t hash b z t is greater than z x hash y x is greater than y z star y a star b is a is less than b z is less than y so we have to see from this relationship which of these are true so t is greater than z this is z this is t so z is less than x and t is also less than x so suppose x is 2 then t could be 1 and z could be 2 or 1 so in this case t is greater than z no it is wrong because z could be 2 and t could be 1 so first first relationship is wrong second relationship x is greater than y so x is greater than y where is x x is greater than y y so this is the relationship we need to see so 
y could be one, z could be one. This could also be one. So it could also be equal to. So this is wrong. One is equal to one. Z is less than y. So z z is greater than equal to y is greater than equal to z. So z this is also wrong. So all the three statements given are wrong. So the right option would be option one. None follows. So the right option would be none follows. So I'll repeat how it is done. We have to see t and z. T and z is this. The connecting relationship is connecting variable is x. So we will take these three. We have assumed x to be two. Now z is less than equal to x. So it could be one. It could be two. T is less than two. So it could be one. It could be zero. But one is greater than two. So we can see there are. possibilities where t is greater than z but there are also possibilities where t is equal to t is equal to z so this doesn't hold true similarly for x and y we'll take these three x and y could be equal so this also is wrong third is directly given from the statement above so in third we need not do much thank you so much friends uh, i'll continue more questions in the next video keep watching keep studying thank you so much